Um, but I'd like to do it a little bit. Uh, point of order. Um, I remember to stick it on the second cruise with us putting stickers on our, our Joe Book Cruise Crazy two shirts with a little uh, rat with additional performers. So it's not like last minute changes are new to the cruise and every <laughs> It's true. It's not the first time we've had last minute changes. Uh, speaking of chaos, um, today's schedule, is this, is this some sort of experiment with, uh, with all of the uh, events kind of like trampling over it's, each other? It's a lot of things. <laughs> experiment is one thing you could call it. <laughs> um, without getting too deep into the weeds, um, relatively late in the planning, we just, last year we had uh, a stage on the back deck for performances to take place back there. Relatively in the planning on our end, we decided we were not going to have that stage. Uh, and it threw off the schedule and planning, and we already had booked a number of acts based on types of acts, based on that uh, based type of schedule that that stage would have given us. Um, and in order to get, we, we always try and, you know, it's my philosophy to always have every performer uh, the live performance, um, a set in a main concert, and then another set to give people another opportunity to see them solo somewhere that's not a tiny little room. And the way I did that calculus this year was to try and set one day up a bit more. It's honestly, but the schedule today is more like how most music event cruises operate They're more like a music festival where uh, it's not so much a concern that everybody get a chance to see a given act. It's just like, here's your shows, make your plans in order to try and see them. Uh, and it, it, there was a certain degree of experiment to them in as we were considering various options for the future if we had to move to another cruise ship where the main stage didn't support two shows basically covering all attendees. We wanted to see how people would interact with and appreciate or not appreciate something a little more festival-like. Uh, so we'll see a little bit of that in the feedback. Um, it's not like we're intending to move to this new schedule. It was just sort of how things could best fit to make sure everybody definitely got to see an artist once and got to see them a second time somewhere in, in, a, in a reasonable space. And we'll see how it all turns out. You know how when you put a wallpaper in a room, you start here and then you go all the way around the room and then you get around the back? Doesn't quite match up. That's <laughs> right. Uh, what I said, we did get, uh, we, we were able to set up, uh, we brought in this the professional light rig that you see back on the CU Stadium. We had some wonderful dance parties back there. Um, I like seeing how the turnout for those, especially uh, Drew's. Uh, did you all see that? Uh, Weird Kraken and Garbulon cake from the our, our party in Slack. So, oh, okay. It's a great cake. The most amazing cake I've ever seen. Well, speaking of cakes, uh, did anybody get a chance to go to Take Me Away today? We, uh, my phone was blowing up from people on, on our, our staff telling us how well received it has been. Yeah. Might say, huge success. 